Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you everything that I got during May. Before I get into it, I just want to say that I've been sick this past week. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get this video up, um, but I'm feeling much better. But if I sound a bit weird or if I'm kind of sniffly or my energy is just kind of low, then that's why. So during May, I actually only got one makeup product and it was a repurchase and it's this right here, which is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I mentioned this in like one of my favorites video I believe and it's just pretty much my favorite foundation you guys know I don't like using foundation that much I just because I have oily skin I just don't like a feeling of like I don't know I guess something liquid on my skin I'd much rather just use a little bit of concealer and some powder but there are days that I really want like that flawless look um, especially like if I'm filming or taking pictures or pretty much going to like I don't know an event or something um, so yeah, so that's when I like to use this, and my other one was actually really old, um, because I just, you know, would barely ever use it. But it just, like, got to a point where I feel like it oxidized and it just was kind of orangey and weird. So that's why I got a new one, and I feel like this one just is so much better. The color just matches my skin perfectly. My color is actually the Nude Beige W3, which is in the warm section. And I actually hadn't noticed this before, but this has SPF 17, which I know that like foundations with SPF can be a bit scary because of like flashbacks, like in photos and things like that. But I don't see a problem with this one. Like I've never even noticed that it had SPF. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really give any flashback, I think, and I just really love it. I love how kind of like smooth and flawless it makes my skin. I feel like it actually looks like my skin, which I really, really like, because I don't like when you can, like, it's so obvious when it's foundation, you know? Um, so yeah, I've been really, really loving this, and I think I'm just gonna stick to this one for now. So starting with the clothes, I actually have a new shirt from my sister's brand, which is Lama. It's like a Brazilian brand which I've mentioned here before. If you're not familiar with it, I'll have the link in a blog post for you guys to check out. I mean, right now, it's only being sold in Brazil, but there is an American shop opening very, very soon. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll be sure to share the link once it's live. Um, but yeah, I got one of these like long sleeve crop tops. I have the black one that says New York on the back, and I love that one. It's probably my favorite shirt from the brand, I think. But this one is white, and this one says Los Angeles in gray, which I think is so, so cute. I just love how this feels. It fits really, really well. And it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has, like, these little snaps in the front. And, yeah, I just love it. And I just love the fact that it's long sleeve as well, because I don't own a lot of crop tops that are long sleeves. And, yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. So Toby sent me a few items recently, and this is the first one, which I absolutely love. It's a little romper, and it has this amazing leopard print, which I'm obsessed with, you guys know. Um, I already shot this for the black. Actually, I already shot all of the Toby items, um, so I'll try to remember to leave those linked below in case you want to check it out and just, like, see how it fits. I love this one. I love that it has, like, kind of, like, this deep fever here. It actually has a little button here so that it doesn't, like, open up and stuff, which is nice. Um, and I love it. It is a little bit short. Um, so if you're uncomfortable with that, or especially if like you're really tall, because I'm short, I'm 5'3", and this is short on me. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I still think it's really, really cute, and I just love the look that I created with this. I thought it looked really awesome. So yeah, you should check it out. The next piece I actually kept on the hanger, because I feel like it'll be easier to show you guys. Um, but it's actually a jumpsuit, so it's extremely long. Um, and yeah, I just love this detail right here. It's so pretty. Like, the lace, I feel like, just makes it look really elegant. And I actually wore this to a wedding recently. And I love it because it was, like, comfortable because it's a jumpsuit. Um, but it's still, like, nice and elegant. And I mean, I feel like black is always elegant. But especially when it's combined with lace. And I love the way that it's, like, I don't know, it kind of has, like, almost like a geometric shape like that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous, and I also love the fact that it actually has pockets. I love jumpsuits with pockets. So cute. So the last product from Toby, but certainly not the least, is this one right here, which is this amazing moto jacket. I absolutely love it. It has such a gorgeous, like, pastel pink color, 
And you guys also know how obsessed I am with moto jackets. Like, I have an obsession. I have quite a few. And this one is faux leather, which I actually prefer. And I just absolutely love it because it has such, like, a cool, like, edgy style. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has, like, where is it? A buckle, like, down here. So it's just, like, this really cool, like, edgy look. But then in, like, a pastel pink, which I just think is such an awesome combination. And I love it so much. And last time I checked, this was actually on sale. Like, the original price, I think, is, like, over $100. But it was on sale for like 32 I think, something like that. Hopefully they still have some available and it's still on sale. So I'll leave that link below and you should definitely go grab yourself one because I love it so much. So recently I went to an Old Navy press preview and I got a few things there um, that they were giving out. And the first thing is this, which they were actually like screen printing at the events, which I think is so cool. I feel like they always do that like at their previews which is awesome and they had a few different like designs that you could choose from to get screen printed and I chose this one because I thought it was really cute it says life liberty and the pursuit of style and it's just a basic little white tee it's kind of baggy which I love and then in the back it just says hashtag old navy style uh, I can totally see me myself like wearing this at home a lot or like sleeping in it and yeah, I thought that was really cute. So the next thing I got at the events was this shirt right here. And they actually had this in black and in white, but I chose the black one, of course. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of like a little tank top. It has this kind of like see-through part right here with a cute design. Very nice and flowy. Probably like perfect for warm weather. It just seems really like light material. Um, the back is kind of the same, but it has like these little buttons going down. Really cute, haven't worn it yet, but I'm excited to try it on. The next one from Old Navy is definitely my favorite, and I've already worn it and shot it for the vlog, um, and it's a romper. It kind of looks like a denim romper, but it's not actually denim, but it's really cute. It has like these, is this blue or gray? I guess it's blue, like blue and white stripes. I love the little sleeves, and it has like this little part like folded over, super, super cute little buttons and then here where you can like adjust it obviously and like tighten it on your waist and yeah I think they're super super cute the only thing I wish is that they had pockets but I mean it's not really a big deal and yeah I just love this I have a feeling I'm gonna wear this so much in the summer because the day I wore this it was just so nice it was like a really hot day and yeah it was just amazing so the last thing from Old Navy I also really love and it's this bag right here which is like a kind of faux suede material Really pretty color as well. I just love neutral colors. This one they also had in two colors. It was this one and like this kind of, I think it was like a green, like kind of teal-ish color. I don't know. Um, but I just thought that I would use this one more because it is like a neutral color. And I really, really love it. I love how big it is because I actually don't own that many big bags. Um, so it's nice that this one can fit a bunch of stuff. And I also really like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys. But it kind of has like this little compartment in here, like a little pocket where you can put like your smaller things so it doesn't get like lost in the middle of this huge bag, which is really useful. So yeah, really, really love this as well. So a brand sent me a little box of bracelets. The name is Joseph Noguchi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and there are a couple of bracelets in here. Let me see if I... I'll probably do a close up for you guys because I don't know if you guys will be able to see it that well. Um, but they just have like these little kind of like beads on it. One is all black with a few little silver details. This one is a like kind of light purple also with some silver parts. And then this one has like browns and like beiges and golds and stuff like that. So I went to Bath and Body Works the other day and I got two candles so I thought I would show you guys in this video even though it's not like clothes or makeup or anything like that but I thought I'd show you anyways. So the first one is this one right here which is black teak wood. And I didn't even open it yet, and I can already smell it. Like, that's how good it is. It's so strong, which I absolutely love, and I just love the smell. I feel like a few people are going to be a bit turned off by what I'm about to say, but it kind of reminds me of how, like, an Abercrombie store smells like. So it basically smells like men's cologne, which for some reason I really enjoy. I don't know, it's just such a good smell. Like, I actually have one. I don't think you guys will be able to see it. It's, like, behind me. Um, and I feel like it also kind of smells like men's cologne a bit, but this one is definitely stronger. So yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. If you're ever in like a Bath and Body Works, just try to find this candle and smell it because it's amazing. So the other one is actually completely different and it's pure white cotton. 
and this one also smells amazing. It's just a very like fresh scent, which I also really love. Like I really like fresh, like clean scents. Um, and yeah, I think this one like will be perfect for the summer. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably use both of them. Like I'll just probably keep switching them out. Um, but yeah, I guess it just depends like the mood that I'm in. But this is also really good, and you guys should definitely check this one out as well. So good. I think I might start burning this one in a little bit. So that is everything. Um, as you can see, I didn't get that much in May. I've been really good with the shopping. Other than like the foundation and the candles, none of the stuff I actually bought. So yes, I've been very good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye! Mm -hmm.